Visit sayarite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this short tutorial video, we're going to reupholster an armrest for a power boat in five easy steps. Let's get started. This is going to be a quick video to show how to do an upholstered panel. And this has vinyl on the top and piping around the perimeter. And the first thing you want to do, basically, is just remove the staples and the old vinyl fabric. Our piece is now clean. Here's the sew foam, which is a quarter inch and it's totally compressed. Our old vinyl and our piping. We're going to be using new uh, sew foam, quarter inch. We're going to use Eversoft vinyl and Eversoft piping. If I sew through the uh, sew foam, I want this side to be the underside, but uh, since I'm not sewing through it, I'm going to put the glue on the foam side. And this is just a headliner adhesive. I'm going to put it on both surfaces. We've let the glue tack up. Now we're going to bond them together. And then I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut a little bit outside of the perimeter of my sew foam. I'm going to apply some glue on the sides and roll it up the sides. We traced about an inch and a half outside the perimeter and now we're cutting out our vinyl. At the 90 degree corners, you've got three of them, one, two, and three, we cut out a strip of fabric and then cut out a triangular piece. We have a video that shows how to do that and much, much more and we'll link it up at the upper right hand corner of this video. We're going to roll our fabric around and put a few staples here and then turn it around and pull it taut over on this side and put a few staples here. Then we'll come to the side, which is angled, we'll pull it taut and put a few staples there. The other end, pull it taut. This corner is rather rounded, so we're going to introduce wrinkles to the back side of the material to uh, basically to have the fabric take that shape. So I'm going to pull and then I'm going to create a little bit of a wrinkle, make sure it's on the back side, staple, and now we have a nice corner there. Now to do this corner, what we're going to do is we're going to trim away some of this fabric to make almost a miter corner here because there's a little bit too much fabric here. Then we're going to grab this fabric and pull it up. There, there's a little wrinkle in here, which is fine because it's on the back side. Put a staple there, grab this side, pull it up, kind of distribute the wrinkle a little bit. And then we can cut out some of this excess fabric here. We can take this tail and we can pull on it fairly snugly and put a couple staples on top of it. We have a little wrinkle here. We just pull that because this is a four-way stretch vinyl until it's on the back side. Distribute the wrinkle a little bit and secure it. We'll keep doing this around the perimeter. We're going to pull our fabric tight and staple approximately every inch around the entire perimeter. Now we're going to trim away the excess material on the back side, taking away as much as possible. Now the only thing left now for our upholstered piece is piping around the perimeter. This is our piping. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it so that I can feed it inside of it and I just use a razor blade and carefully do this so you don't cut yourself. So just run the razor blade down this, pull the fabric covering away from the vinyl and we'll cut some of it away. This is the back side of our project, so that's where we want the joint to begin. We'll take our piping and we will start about an inch or so away from where we uh, opened up the uh, end and we will start stapling it around the perimeter. This piping should take the corner well. 
you may have to introduce a wrinkle to get it to take a 90 degree corner like that, but uh, that makes it possible. And you can always cut out some of the flange if you need to. Nice. There's some excess material here, so we'll just cut it out, which reduces the bulk and we'll apply our staple. There's where my piping ends here. So this one's going to overlap here. I'm going to cut it so it's flush with that piping. I can open this up and I can push this inside. And then we have a piece that looks like it's totally finished. I'm going to pull this taut staple up to that point. Your upholstered piece is now complete. We used a four-way stretch vinyl called Eversoft that's available from Sayrite for this upholstered piece. Sayrite has many other types of vinyl fabrics that work well for this type of application as well. Check them out at the Sayrite website. I'm Eric Grant and from all of us here at Sayrite, thanks for watching.